And Guatemala, a second round vote will determine the next president. CCTV's Frank Contreras has our story. If polls are reliable, this is the man to beat in Sunday's presidential election. A poll by a leading Guatemalan newspaper, Prensa Libre, puts television comedian Jimmy Morales ahead of the other contender by more than 35 percentage points. The 46-year-old candidate of the National Convergence Front has never held elected office. If he wins, he says he plans to fight government corruption by establishing accountability. Oftentimes, governments do not make public the amounts of money they spend, and they maintain total discretion when it comes to public administration. Government corruption became Guatemala's top campaign issue following the arrest and ongoing corruption trial of previous President Otto Perez Molina. The other contender is former first lady and center-left candidate Sandra Torres. She's widely seen as representing the old political guard. If she wins, Torres would become Guatemala's first female president. Guatemala is one of the países. Guatemala is one of the countries in which poverty is more obvious than wealth, and we have to attack the structural problems like inequality, discrimination, and more than anything, the lack of inclusion. La discriminación. World Bank statistics show around 75 percent of the country's people live in poverty. In this second and final round of voting, observers expect a low turnout. Possibly, the percentage of people who come out to vote on Sunday will be less than those who participated in the first round. This is usually the case. The second round has lower levels of participation. Still, ballots have been delivered to more than 19,500 voting stations across this nation, including those in remote mountain villages. It's all come down to this. The final round of presidential elections in Guatemala. Polls open at 8 a.m. on Sunday. And whoever wins, the outcome promises to be historic. Frank Contreras, CCTV, Guatemala City.